Hi, I'm Layo Olaride. Here's your Channel's TV Evening News Recap for May the 25th, 2022. Family members of the Kaduna train attack have raised concern over threats by the terrorists to kill the victims if the federal government fails to yield to their demands after seven days. They held a peaceful protest on Wednesday morning in Kaduna, calling on President Muhammadu Buhari to come to their rescue. Four persons, including two Catholic priests, have been abducted by gunmen in Kafour local government area of Katsina State, northwest Nigeria. The clergymen are the May Kambu Parish priest, Father Stephen Ojapa and Father Oliver Okwara, along with two of their visitors, all boys. The federal government has said it will spend about 34 billion naira on the ongoing payment of minimum wage consequential adjustments to education sector workers with effect from 2019. According to a statement by the Federal Ministry of Labour and Employment, the beneficiaries include the members of the striking Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, and their counterparts in the polytechnics and colleges of education. On the international scene, a teenage gunman has killed at least 19 young children and two teachers at an elementary school in Texas. The incident prompted a furious President Joe Biden to denounce the U.S. gun lobby and vow to end the nation's cycle of mass shootings. And in sports, the UK government on Wednesday said it had given the green light to Todd Boyle's proposed takeover of Chelsea Football Club from the sanctioned Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich. Secretary of State for Digital Culture, Media and Sport Nadine Doris said she had issued a license permitting the deal late on Tuesday, shortly after it won approval from the Premier League. And that's the evening news recap. Visit channelstv.com for details on these stories and more. Thank you for watching.